Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, feels good to be back in the office, right? How cool is that? And I got a bit of a haircut. Now this haircut, I did it myself. So not only do I represent myself in court, but I actually cut my own hair. How cool, right? And it's actually all for the same reason. I'm addicted to Rhino. If I spend a single dollar outside of Rhino, I feel guilty. So such is life. So Rhino Bucks, I believe is 201. Um, I sent a bunch of money. It has hit right after this call. I'm going to, hey Brian, good morning. I will buy some and I'll probably be able to run it up to 203, 204, somewhere over there. Um, that's a good thing. Uh, Rhino Friend is amazing. I, I, you know, I gotta share something. In life, it's very easy to self-sabotage yourself. And to be able to say that is the opposite of self-sabotage, right? Like you have to be able to admit your faults or at least admit when you're going a wrong, a wrong way. And what I mean by that is it's so easy as a creator. Hey, Gunny. See, Gunny's one of the faces I haven't seen in a while. Um, it's so easy as a creator to be so deep in the forest that you can only see the tree in front of you. That I'm constantly like, look at this tree, this branch, this, you know, I, I, it's got to be better. It's got to be better. And then every now and then you get a call. So I had a booked call yesterday with one of our rhinos from Switzerland. And he speaks German. So the conversation was very, um, very non-deep, right? Like it was very, like he's a very smart guy, right? Like he could have a conversation, but you know, innuendos, analogies, nuances. Well, those are inappropriate for that conversation because we, we got to kind of stick to the language barrier. In doing so, you're forced to simplify what you're talking about. It doesn't allow me to get so far in the forest I can only see a tree. It actually allows me to just kind of explain the whole thing. And in doing so, I was like, actually, let, let me do let me do something. Um, let's share a screen and I'd like to show it to you. And I was able to play with Rhino Friend and I was just having fun with it. Like, oh, I love Jamaica and I love ice cream. Um, so I was able to just show a presentation and I'm like, oh, I love Jamaica and I love ice cream and blah, blah, blah. And the individual I was, I was presenting for is like laughing. Oh my God, this is so silly. Like, what are you, what are you writing? And I'm purposely misspelling words and I'm using uh, conjunctions and I'm using text speak like the letter U instead of Y-O-U. And it just performed masterfully. And then I wrote, oh my God, I just got pulled over by the police. I need a lawyer immediately. I don't know who to call. Like I, I need someone that I could just get on the phone with right away. And Rhino Friends like, oh my God, I, I can't believe that happened. We have, um, we have, a, uh, we have a business, um, Laura's Law Firm, and you can get a free consultation right now. Here, here's a link, call them. And the person I was presenting to was just like, Anthony, that's amazing. That's seriously amazing. Um, just Anthony, that's amazing. And I was like, I know. And it's just, like, I know it's amazing, but I'm me, like I'm one person. When you start hearing it from others that you just, you know, kind of randomly show. And, and during the call, the gentleman was like, I really want to start promoting Rhino. He called it Reno, right? Like that's the language barrier. He's like, I'd like to start promoting Reno. Um, I just don't know anything what's going on. And when I shared the affiliate offer with it, which is $40 per referral, $40 cash, not coin, $40 cash per referral plus $5 a week per lifetime of the referral. He's like, are you serious? This is, this thing that you created is, is going to be the biggest thing anyone's ever seen. And you're going to pay me that much? Anthony, like, what are we waiting for? Let's go. And I was sitting there, I was like, I need to just get this out. Like, I need to stop with like the micromanaging. And I think that's a poor um, representation because I'm not micromanaging. But I am kind of like, okay, this needs to be, this needs to be, this needs to be. And I think it just needs to be out. So anyway, um, what I sent in the email yesterday, and I did three scripted versions of the Doodly video that I have to do today. The one in the email I sent was the first one. The second one is a little bit more nudging. And the third one is actually in the style of Al Pacino in Any Given Sunday, the halftime speech. I haven't actually... I haven't gone over it that much, but I'm thinking I'm gonna make three pages, right? Three identical pages, each page having, the difference in the pages having the videos, and then we'll ABC test it, which which page converts the best, right? Like, duh. 
So which means today I have to make all three of those videos. I've never done Doodly, but it can't be that difficult, right? Like you, it's drag and drop. You have to make the screens, the scenes, but I've already, I've already, I've already, um, what's it called? Screencasted. I don't know. I've already scripted the whole thing. So now it's just follow my own instructions. So that will be done today. And then I probably need a couple more hours to do the affiliate stuff, the pages, the sequences, all of that stuff. But I actually have till 7.30 tonight. I spoke to my wife and usually I pick up my son at 4.30, but she asked if she could. I said, okay. And then she would leave and then return for 6.30 to do better bath. And then she would leave because my apartment is me and my kids. She stays at her mother's. Um, but I said to her, I was like, well, why don't you just stay the whole time and I'll come home for 7.30 and you know, we could tag out. And she's like, that'd be fine. That'd be pretty cool. Thanks. So I'm in it today. Like I got nine and a half hours from this second to, to work. And I'm, I've had nine and a half hours to work and I can't even tell you how long. And I've already worked for like an hour or two. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think we're going to get a lot of stuff done today. And I need to get that out tonight. Kartra has allowed us to fully migrate all of our Salesforce emails over. I've been doing it in um, migrations. So I did a fourth one yesterday. Our Kartra now has 18,000 emails, which doesn't sound like a lot. Anthony, 18,000, like who cares? Well, our Salesforce has 200,000 emails. Well, Anthony, 200,000 sounds more than 18,000. Yeah, it does. But you know what's cool? Those 18,000 are the actual people that open up two or three times a week. Like those 18,000 are our 18,000, which means, yeah, 18,000 doesn't sound like a lot, but go ahead and attach a 75% open rate and like a 50% click rate to it. Then 18,000 is a lot. So we already have that ready to go. Like I have them in house, meaning when we do this launch, hey, Abdul, I, I'm telling you, I'm looking at the names. There's like even Aurora's in the house, right? Like I, I'm beyond myself right now. Um, when we get those emails out, Oh my God, like they're all going to be delivered. They're all going to be open. They're all going to be clicked. And I think we could have a really, really big showing like right away. Um, I think that's so cool. I do think for Rhino Friend, which is a free version, I'm still juggling. Like, do I want to just put like a dollar a week on it? And I'm trying to think what's the down part of that. I don't know it. Do I think a dollar a week will, will cause someone not to join? Well, it'll cause someone not to join, right? Like, duh, if something's free versus something a dollar, there is a marginal person, not marginal person, but there's a marginal percentage of people. I don't know what that percentage is. So I'm thinking to myself, well, is it worth it, right? Do I want to ostracize, say, 10% of people for the 90% percent i will pay the dollar a week? And how many people will, right? Could we get 1,000? I don't know. Can we get a thousand free members paying a dollar a week? Now, obviously, free and a dollar a week aren't the same thing anymore, but you get what I'm saying. Because I got to tell you, I would like an extra thousand a week. Why not? It all goes to Rhino. You see, the money doesn't go to me. It's my job to make sure it goes to Rhino. Therefore, it's like when you work at a store, like, a, like say you work at a, a, a bakery and someone comes in and you give them a cookie. You're like, oh, it's my mother. I gave them a cookie. Well, that wasn't my cookie to give away right? It wasn't mine. In fact, I stole the cookie from the store and the store didn't get the money it should have gotten because I thought, because I gave the cookie to my mother. And that's how I feel with Rhino. Like, yeah, I want to do Rhino Friend for free, but it's not mine. Like to just give it away for free, if I could reasonably, you know, I got to do the calculations in my head and whatever. But if I could reasonably expect at least 80% will not care to pay the dollar a week, well, then that's, you know, 500, 1,000, $2,000 a week that I think Rhino deserves. So my mind is kind of there right now because I don't think anyone could say, I won't pay a dollar a week. Whether you want to or not, it's a different story, but I don't think someone can't afford it. And if between you and I, if someone couldn't afford a dollar a week, they know they could email me and I'll say yes. That's not an invitation for you to do it, by the way, because I know who can afford it. But I would easily, I wouldn't even think twice, I would say yes. So I think that's where my mind's at with that because I do want more money. And again, it doesn't go to me, it goes to Rhino. So that's that. Um, what else? I know I had something else. No, no, I'm just, I'm just excited. 
Like I woke up on the right side of the bed today, as silly as that sounds. I don't know, there was something that just kind of bestowed me today where, where like you won. I don't care what it, like we won. There isn't a single thing in my life right now that I don't think I won. It doesn't mean that the, the game's over, the scoreboard's not done. But when you have a chess mindset, no one's gonna tell me Rhino Friends can't. It, it's, it's literally the most revolutionary thing that's ever happened to internet marketing. Because actually, as I was doing it yesterday, it's not just Facebook that we revolutionized. We took Facebook, we took Google, we put it together, we made a better version of it. Remember, Rhino Street is the better version of Google because Google is all corporate America, Wall Street, marketing budgets, ad spend, data tracking, and you as a, you as a user are a, hamster on a, are a hamster on a wheel. Rhino Street has no data tracking, has no history, has no nothing. In fact, when you use Rhino Street, you only get the results 20 miles from you. It's actually, by definition, local business only. There's no way you can even market on it. So we, we solved Google. And then Facebook? Okay, well, Facebook makes money because they're able to aggregate a large number of people that share a particular data set. All right, all of these people like ice cream. So let's sell all these people to that guy and he's gonna send them ice cream. They didn't ask for that. When they get the ad, they feel like disgusting because now people are educated enough to know that they are a hamster on the wheel on Facebook too. And Facebook and Google have made a lot of their own decisions when it comes to freedom of speech, what you can and can't know, stuff like that. Um, changing it from free to a dollar, in my opinion, is a subtle signal of a lack of trust in Rhino Firm to do as designed to bring in revenue. Uh, let me read the first part of that, give people the time. Yeah, you know what, Brian? The reason I say that is because Rhino Firm doesn't go live till October 9th, which means anyone that gets in between now and then uh, won't, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but I, I do agree with you. These calls is me thinking out loud so I could kind of get the sense. No, 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 I, th I think you're right. That was my first impression, right? Um, so actually you might've just convinced me, but anyway, um, and Brian's pretty good at that stuff. It's like, it's like my like angel on my shoulder type of thing. Um, but yeah, and then, and then Facebook, we go ahead and solve that because you're not being marketed by a corporation using a marketing budget to target you. In fact, you're being marketed to by every business that's on a fair level. There's only one plan. No business could have more of a reach than the other. And the business doesn't target you. You're a rhino friend, which is your exact replica because it learns you, doesn't even target you. It identifies your intents, what you need, what can help you and what would make you happy. And if it finds a business that fits that bill, it says, hey, by the way, did you did you know this? You, you'd probably really like it. And you're like, oh my God, yeah, duh, I would love that. But those businesses are automatically listed on Rhino Street. So we've actually taken Facebook and Google, put it together and solved Bolt. And that might be completely, Anthony, you're off your rocker. <laughs> like Brian said, off your rocker. And that's fine. I don't think I'm ever gonna be 100% off my rocker. So say I'm just completely biased. Anthony, you see it the way you wanna see it. I get what you're saying, but it's not really that. Okay, what is it? Is it 75% that? Is it 50% that? Is it 25% that? Because if you tell me it's 10% that, I will add up what Facebook and Google are worth, take 10% and I'll be quite happy. How wrong am I? Am I 99% wrong? 1% of those two companies is like $3 trillion. 1% of that is what, 300 billion, 30 billion? Okay, we took zero and turned it to 30 billion because I was 99% wrong. I can live with that. And then my personal life, I gotta tell you, and I'm not gonna get into great detail. I was playing checkers with somebody that was playing checkers. And then I decided, you know what? You're not even good at checkers. I'm just gonna play chess and, and just get this over with. And when you, when you make that, when that happens, you're just like, you, you look at things and you, you look at it very differently. And you almost feel sad. I don't want to say anything too bad because it's not worth it, but I'll tell you this, my emotions as it's focused on my adversary has gone from mad to disgusted to now just sad. It's, 
my, my, my whole life was having to see around the corner. I grew up the oldest of six boys in the worst divorce household you'd ever see. I, I didn't have a salary job my entire life. Everything has always been sales my entire life. I've always had to, um, always had to read the room. And in doing that your entire life, especially since I was born, like I was doing that since I was born, you just have different, like you could see further and I can see further. And I'm now at the point where I can actually see the finish line. And I'm just, that's just sad. But you know, that's uh, when it's all said and done, it'll be a cautionary tale of what not to do. But let me run. I do need to get this rhino thing, this rhino thing out because we do need money at some point. I, I, I need I need money. Rhino needs money. I need money too. I haven't collected a salary since I started Rhino. <laughs> I love when people are like, Anthony, how much do you make? Uh, zero. Anthony, how do you live? Well, I cover overhead, but I won't even, I cut my own hair, right? Like there it is. All right. So I love everyone. Uh, let me get this up and I'll see Rhino Wealth at 11. And I hope tonight's email says we're good and I have all day to do it. So I'll see you later. Love everyone. Bye.